The following act, guys, is highly dangerous, so don't try this at home. Jokes aside, we've been doing a knife only with my kid, and actually I think this was the only game I played with knife only, and I have to say I enjoyed it. Generally speaking, I'm not the type of person who is like entering the battlefield like with minimal gear. I think that's not the intention of the game and I think this is not for what the development team has been working so hard. Definitely if you want to have fun then why not and it's actually a good strategy to risk the bare minimum and then try to escort or extract with some loot value but even if you are that type of person i wouldn't go knife only and we didn't do a challenge we just did it purely for fun okay but after this game we actually had a discussion about the loadout whether it makes sense to uh, gear up and have t5 armor and then customized AKM or M4 or H416 and such if we do lockdown zone because armor is different but even applies to armor as well so we've been debating whether it makes sense to have like a loadout that is worth 200k and we ended up saying that it depends on our mood because in some cases we just enter the battlefield with like let's say low end loadout um, 50k 70k or such but there are moments where we say let's put everything at risk let's pick up the m4s like t5 bullets and such and have fun and guys i think that's the key you need to have fun regardless of your loadout if you are willing to risk that then also be okay losing that i think ice was mentioning this in one of his shorts or videos or live streams or whatever i don't remember and he was saying something like this is just a digital file or something you know you don't actually lose anything you can get that gun back in the next game or if you just play the game you're gonna have other guns so you should not be afraid of losing your stuff because if that pressure is like too high and you always think about oh my god I'm gonna lose my stuff then you're not gonna enjoy the game so if you feel that okay I'm not in the best mood maybe if you're tired or such then enter the battlefield with like lower weapons or low end weapons not the expensive ones and try to have fun and uh, same applies if you have good moments, if you are hyped or, you know, full with energy, then pick up your good stuff and then go into the battlefield with the mindset that now, this time, I'm just going to destroy everybody. Uh, you may die if it happens and then it's like, you know, slap into your face that you died and lost everything. Yeah, it happens and it sucks and it can be very frustrating and annoying, but still you get it. I mean, if you have the feeling at the very beginning of the game that, oh my God, the what if I die, I'm going to lose my MPX or whatever, then screw it. Then you're not going to have fun in this game. And I'm absolutely convinced that we all have that pressure to a certain extent because everybody in covert ops is just freely running around, not really feeling any pressure. But if you're doing tactical ops, then to a certain extent, you have that pressure because obviously you don't want to lose your stuff. You don't want to lose your loot. Yeah, I mean, I fully get that, guys, but it really matters how much that impacts you because if you die and then you start destroying your phone ipad or whatever or go crazy and mad then it's not worth it and don't get me wrong sometimes i'm also getting upset i'm not that regular raging type of guy who's like smashing the desk and oh my god i lost everything and then you know raging about the enemies and such i'm usually not that type of person but sometimes i also have my bad moments sometimes i feel the game is unfair sometimes Sometimes I feel that I shot first, sometimes I feel that um, you know it's, it was an unlucky situation, but at the end of the day I always tell myself, okay, what's the learning, um, you know, what can I do to improve, blah blah blah, the usual stuff, just to turn my head and try to be a bit positive and not to focus on what I lost, because if you keep focusing on what you lost, then uh, you are going to end up hating this game or you are going to switch into try hard mode and then in the next game you're going to lose again and you're going to be tilted you're going to be you're going to be frustrated for that day you're going to be exhausted next day you're going to enter again with high hopes but it's better if you you know start with the mindset okay what i have at stake 
it's okay to lose that. It's like gambling or such. If you put something on the poker table, then you need to keep in mind that it may happen that you lose everything. It's the same in Arena Breakout. Anyways, going back to the knife only game mode. So I definitely wouldn't recommend you to jump into the game and play knife only or like Desert Eagle only. If you want to have fun one or two times, then go for it or sniper only or whatever. And I would say go for the loadout which is like optimal for you and there is no like one specific loadout that suits everybody because because you have to go through that journey and at the beginning of the game you're gonna feel that 50k loadout oh my god that is a lot what if i lose and then in the like a bit later two weeks later you're gonna say 90k is like you know okay to lose and then next time or in two weeks later again you're gonna say i'm not gonna play below 150k and if you look at the uh well-known streamers so i stream imo or or little b or whoever i come up with they always um pick up a very decent loadout because they don't really feel that pressure anymore. They know that in order to succeed in the game, they need at least an M4 or F2000. They need at least uh, five grenades and uh, decent med kits and bullets. And they are okay to risk like 350,000 coins, even if they are below a million. So keep that in mind, guys. If you are not being overwhelmed with money, and let's say you have like 1 million coin, then, you know, don't try to like minimize your loadout just because you don't have 2 million or 3 million. Maybe you've been there already and now you feel that, oh my God, I'm gonna lose all my money, so I'm going to decrease the stuff I'm taking into the battlefield. No, try to get used to the fact that it's just a game sometimes it can happen that you lose three games in a row but the next day you may find two red items in the same day it happened to me so it's real it, it can actually happen anyways there are multiple ways to play this game knife only is one of them but i, I again i wouldn't recommend that you can play for example solo and be the lonely wolf who is going to hunt down everybody you can do squad mode that's much safer because you always have teammates who protect you but then in that case you need to share the loot and if you are playing with randoms then well not everybody is respecting the loot etiquette per se and sometimes they become greedy um, if you have friends to play with definitely i would do that but you can also play duo that's also fun and the good thing about duo is that you're gonna have plenty of loot um, you can easily kill the solo players you have uh, let's say 50 50 chance against other duos and even against squads if you are performing well then they don't destroy you i mean it really sucks if we are being attacked by a squad and then we hunt down one or two enemies and then there are still two enemies there uh, or if we are getting cornered and uh, uh, bombarded with grenades yeah i know that but duo i think is a pretty solid choice and i know i'm an edge case like there aren't too many like father son duos but you can team up with one of your friends or with your girlfriend or like boyfriend if you're a girl so it depends and my personal advice here is that if you are considering yourself a hardcore gamer then definitely try to find a girlfriend who is also a gamer or at least close to gaming because it's gonna definitely help you in the future so when i met mrs shady fox back then we actively played world of warcraft day and night and she's still gaming like almost every day nowadays she's doing unknown uh, unfortunately she's not really into fps games so this is why she doesn't really play arena breakout but on the long run believe me it's going to be like a good decision if you find a gamer girlfriend or boyfriend or wife or fiance or whatever you get it so the takeaway of this video guys is that there is actually no takeaway 
it's fun to play knife only but it just doesn't make sense so at least pick up a Digo or like an MB5 or something because if you have absolutely no weapons you're gonna drastically decrease your chances for surviving but if you have at least a gun you can by accident kill somebody with a strong solid weapon and then you can pick up their loot and then escort just as we did so I escorted 200k and Zeke will as well so in total 400,000 with knife only but this I think was just a coincidence so if I would only play knife only I I couldn't do that and repeat that all the time anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the discussion happy gaming as always and see you next time bye